in the old days, patients had to come in to see the doctor in order to talk about how their sugars were going or how their weight was going if they had heart failure, or how their breathing was going if they had COPD or asthma. Today, patients have access to wearables or apps or sensors that they can use at home. And all that information, at least in theory, could be beamed to the doctor that would allow the doctor to see how the patient's doing and monitor them and suggest a change in treatment. I say theoretically because herein lies the rub. If I'm a primary care doctor taking care of 2,000 patients, the idea that all 2,000 patients have access to these new data flows, wearable sensors, apps, they're gathering data on themselves and it's all gonna be beamed to me the idea that that's going to be a wonderful thing that's going to make my life better is fantasy. So this is an area where we have to reimagine the organization of healthcare. In the future, all of this data will go to a smart algorithm that will say, all right, it looks like you're doing fine. Keep doing what you're doing. Or it may say, it looks like your breathing flow has gone down a little bit. Try increasing your puffer a little bit. And let's see how things go. In addition, there will be another layer probably of people who resemble air traffic controllers, who are monitoring the digital data coming from 500 diabetics or heart failure patients or emphysema patients to see how they're all doing. And who can say, it looks like patient 3, 27, and 46 are having problems today. I'm gonna to have a televisit with them to see how things are going. Until we create those layers and reimagine the way the healthcare system goes, the danger here is all of this data just leads to data overload and we're not using it in ways that actually improve care and improve efficiency.